Hello and welcome Taurus. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Taurus, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so let's see what is coming through for Taurus. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate. And that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest. Okay, making sure there's just one card there. Um, let's see. No, nope, I'm feeling it. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the lovers here. All right, and yes, this is the supernatural deck. I know I get questions sometimes. I always forget to kind of leave them in the bottom, um, but I will try to remember in case you guys are curious. So, all right, so we have the ace of blades here. We have the six of blades. We have these uh, eight of blades, and then we have judgment. Hmm. All right, so Taurus, I'm kind of getting like there's a new insight. I'm also kind of getting like you feel really good. Like you're kind of standing in your power. I feel like you've gotten, I keep getting like you're seeing something clearly. Um, so this could be you've gotten a clear message or it's like you've come to some kind of realization. But like I said, you're seeing something clearly here. With the Six of Swords, I do feel like this, this situation that you're seeing clearly, it's like you've made a decision and you're able to kind of move on here. Um, I still feel like, you know, the full struggle may not be over, but I also feel like you're handling it really well. With the Eight of Swords, though, I feel like for a long time you're kind of stuck. I feel like you're still kind of going back and forth. That's why I said I don't fully feel like the struggle is over. However, I do feel like you are in a better place, and I feel like you are, like I said, seeing things differently, seeing things clearly. Um, and then with Judgment here... You know, this could be a second chance at something, but this is also, I keep getting more for you, Taurus, of making a big decision. So this could be within a relationship. This could be with work. This could be, you know, with um, family, you know, friends, whatever. So we're going to kind of take a look and clarify. All right, so we have the three of pentacles, five of pentacles, and four of pentacles. Okay. So clarifying that Ace of Blades, Three of Pentacles, you know, this could be some kind of partnership. Again, it could also be like a work partnership, a, um, you know, companionship, you know, take it however it's resonating. But I do feel like, you know, you're trying to work together with somebody. Um, Four of Pentacles, I don't feel like you want to give up. But Five of Pentacles, this situation could have possibly ended. And maybe that's what you're kind of seeing clearly. Maybe it's you that had to walk away. Maybe it's you that's having to see this situation differently make like some decisions you know because like i said i do feel like you were kind of stuck i'm feeling the need to shuffle um i just feel like you were feeling kind of stuck hmm. yeah and i feel like that's kind of why you hang you hang on or you hung on i should say for some for something here because you just didn't want to let go i feel like you hung on out of fear Possibly fear of change. Possibly fear of just, you know, letting go. But like I said, I do feel like you've got some clarity. Much needed clarity on this situation here. Okay. I love these cards. Um, clarifying the Six of Blades here, the Six of Swords. We have the Magician. We have the Sun card. And we have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, so this has definitely not been easy for you. With the Ten of Wands, feeling very overwhelmed, a lot of hard work, sometimes feeling really alone. Even if you are in a partnership where it's like, I want to move towards a partnership, I want a partnership, I want to be happy. I feel like I'm ready for a companionship, but something from your past is still holding you back. Uh, keeping you from moving forward. Keeping you from starting a new project. Um, you know, taking a chance on perhaps going towards a new job. Or going towards a new relationship offer. Something from the past, like I said, I do feel like it's holding on to you. And this could be because it's that fear of what if it doesn't work out? What if? You know, while it's one of those things you're never really going to know until you try. But like I said, I do feel like it's very overwhelming, the current position that you're in. And you're wanting to move forward. With the Sun card, like I said, I feel like you're getting some kind of sign here, Taurus. Or you will be, but I feel like you're getting some kind of clarity. I also feel like there's someone here that's going to really kind of help you out. Um, with the magician, 
<laughs> this could be a tarot reading. This could be a tarot reader. Maybe you seek out a personal. Maybe, you know, you're learning to kind of delve into, you know, your spiritual side. Um, but I feel like you're kind of, see how the magician here is kind of represented as like a tree. I do feel like, you know, there is a need for you to kind of be grounded. You know, you are an earth sign. So maybe you're kind of feeling a little flighty, almost like, you know, an air sign or water sign kind of all over the place. So this is really kind of saying, you know, get back in touch with nature, you know, ground those roots, focus on you, focus on what means something to you. Um, to get past that ten of wands because right now I feel like you're just really kind of again feeling stuck and feeling really overwhelmed overburdened and not able to see things clearly but I feel like you will be okay all right there could possibly be a reunion here so if you've been thinking about someone from your past or again a relationship that you're kind of holding on to yeah wow okay um, earth sign, air sign is a combo I keep getting. It can be different. You know, don't take that as, oh, okay, then this message isn't for me. No, that's just relevant for somebody out there. Um, with the emperor, the lovers, and the three of cups clarifying this eight of blades, like I said, I do feel like you really are kind of in, in your head over a situation, whether it's, you know, a relationship from your past and you're, and you're struggling to kind of move forward. Um, because you know there's a connection there. You know the two of you work well together, and you want to work things out. I keep getting somebody wants to say I'm sorry. Somebody wants to apologize. Somebody wants to fix something. I don't know if this is your side, Taurus, or if this is their side, but I do feel like a need for talk, but I also feel that need, or not need, but I feel that stubbornness from almost kind of both sides because it's like, well, I'm not going to make the first move. You know, well, I'm not going to make the first move. Well, I already tried reaching out, but you ignored me. You know, type of, it's like kind of going back and forth in a way, but again, it's, it's stubbornness. Um, with the lovers and the three of cups, a strong connection here. But again, I feel like you're really in your head kind of overthinking, over worrying. See how the trees are kind of, you know, intertwined, um, deeply rooted. So it's kind of like releasing time. And what I mean by that is just letting things happen the way they're supposed to. Again, this is kind of like making a choice to kind of just focus on you, where you are right now. And until it's time, until, you know, the two of you can reunite, because I do feel like there's going to be a reunion here. Um, you know, just kind of letting things fall into place. With the Three of Cups, you know, again, I'm seeing reconciliation. I'm seeing working things out. I'm also seeing some celebrations. Um, and I keep getting like finding a balance between your heart space and your mind space because I feel like you're really, really kind of wrapped up in that, um, that head space, that mind space. And again, overthinking, over processing, and that's what's causing the struggle, the worry, the not seeing things clearly just yet. But again, I do feel like you're going to be getting some kind of sign, um, some kind of confirmation that really gives you, like I said, either a new perspective or, you know, allows you to see something a lot clearer than what you have been. This could even be, again, just deciding to focus on you and taking a step back and getting that clarity. Um, for some of you, I keep getting like, um, like short travel. Oh, one more. Knight of Cups, the Hanged One, and Seven of Pentacles, clarifying judgment. Yeah, see, I feel like, you know, it took somebody a while to kind of, you know, see things from a different perspective, but also having to do a little bit of introspection, kind of getting rid of that tunnel vision and seeing something from somebody else's point of view. Um, I also get sacrifices were probably made on somebody's part, possibly both of you, um, but I do feel like one person is trying to revive the connection more than the other person and I feel like the other person just isn't in a good place right now in order to match your energy um, with the magician here but I do feel like patience is needed and again I do feel like this person does want a second chance uh, but I just kind of feel like they're not in that good place just yet and see how his arms are kind of folded here on the judgment card you know being very kind of defensive um, kind of closed off so again, I, I kind of keep getting no communication right now between the two of you. Um, and again, I get that stubbornness. So I feel like this could be from your person, Taurus. But again, I kind of feel it from you. I feel like you're very headstrong as well. But with the Knight of Cups, like I said, somebody does want to come in. They do want to, you know, kind of open up, you know, and express something. But I just don't feel like it's time yet. 
Um, as far as like job finances go, I do feel like there could possibly be a new opportunity because I feel like some kind of frustration with job or finances. But like I said, I do feel almost like a relief, like that 10 of wands being uplifted, um, just like, you know, that sigh of relief to where something's going to be changing as far as those circumstances. And I feel like it's a new opportunity. So, um, and if you are single, like I said, there's either a situation from your past that's going to be coming back. Um, I feel like, again, that strong reconciliation for a lot of you. Hmm. Now, for some of you, like I said, though, um, for the single people out there, I do feel like you're, you've been single for a while or you're going to choose to remain single for a little while. But I also do feel like there is going to be an offer coming in to you, but ultimately it's up to you. It's your decision on whether or not you want to date or if you're just kind of like, no, I'm, I'm happy doing me right now. You know, thanks for the offer, but I'm good. So I kind of see that's what's going on there, Taurus. All right, let's get an Oracle card and then I will get into all the other goodies. Okay. For your oracle card you have earth magic yeah see and that's something else i keep getting um again kind of that groundedness um fearlessness removing obstacles yeah like i said kind of getting out of your head kind of grounding your energy so that way you feel that strength you feel that confidence that independence and know that you have the power to make your own reality know that you can remove obstacles you know by getting out of your head by stopping the overthinking the worrying that you know it's like um i keep getting a connection here where somebody's like over giving, like, you know, I'm, I'm taking care of you. I'm wanting to do this. I'm wanting to do that. And it's kind of like looking within yourself and asking yourself, why are you overcompensating for something? Are you, um, because it kind of feels like in ways, and I'm not saying it's with this person, but I do feel like someone around you, Taurus, this could even be a work situation, but I do feel like you are being taken advantage of. Um, this could possibly be family, again, a work situation, something, but I feel like, you know, somebody's kind of all about themselves and really kind of taking advantage of you, Taurus. So, you know, again, that's just kind of something to look, you know, look inwards for, um, because I do feel, especially with fearlessness, again, going back to that four of pentacles, that kind of scarcity mindset, it's time to let go of fear, you know, ask yourself, what are you scared of? And just kind of handle it from there. Remove those obstacles and move forward. All right. Thank okay. you. I hope you guys are enjoying the dice. You'll have to let me know. I just figured giving some, uh, adding a little numerology, a few messages in here would do some good. Oops. Okay, that was a six. You have a one. You actually have two sixes. You have two fives two sixes and a one here so again a ones are all about like new beginnings so you could be seeing one you could be seeing elevens um you could be seeing you know even 11 11 because i do feel like again there's going to be some kind of reunion coming back um now as far as fives go of course that always represents change the number 55 is saying change is the only constant in life so you know this is talking about what um like divinely orchestrated changes and then you have two sixes here so this is, you know, um, kind of like service. So you could be helping people. This could be some kind of therapy. This could be working at a homeless shelter. This could be, um, you know, donating some things. Again, helping somebody out. Like I said, I feel like you, you really are there for somebody. You're somebody's support system. <clears throat> and I do feel like you, you know, ultimately do have that joy of giving back, of being able to help. But at the same time, like I said, Taurus, it, it's kind of like you've got to take care of yourself too, you know? Make sure you're not over giving and not being taken advantage of. Okay. All right, so I just took some charms and some letter blocks here, or letter tiles. So let's see what we got. We have R, we have P, we have U. We have T, we have L, another U, R, per, somebody has a cat, <laughs> um, I, pure, I keep getting pure, like pure heart, like heart, I keep getting something about like heart, um, heart of gold, 
I don't know, pure heart, something like that. Um, I also get rural, so somebody could kind of live in like a rural area. I can't say that word. Um, <laughs> trail, somebody could be going hiking. Somebody could be kind of um, deciding to go on a new trail. Um, I keep getting, again, getting in touch with nature. And then as I'm getting this horseshoe over here, again, I feel like being back in touch with nature, um, possibly hiking, um, you know, taking some time for you, possibly horse riding, you know, something like that. Um, because I just feel like, again, being very in tune with the earth. So either you're really needing to be grounded or, you know, this is you just kind of decluttering and clearing your mind. All right. And then we have, I choose strength. Yeah. I think it's time that you choose you, Taurus. Um, we also have, she believes she could, so she did. Now, this doesn't just have to be speaking to my female my female viewers out there. Um, this can also be for my guys, you know, um, for all of you. You know, if you believe something, you can do it. I do feel like right now things are kind of locked up, you know, again, kind of feeling um, really kind of stuck in your head. But I do feel like things are going to be changing. With that infinity symbol, again, I'm feeling, um, you know, love coming back around, reconciliation, but I'm also feeling that strength card, you know, card of Leo coming through, um, loyalty, but again, you know, that strength, that inner strength, that confidence, you know, I'm feeling all kinds of goodness for you, Taurus, like you're going to really be standing up for yourself and really, like I said, kind of decluttering, uh, clearing out your mind, feeling good and standing in your power. With the butterfly, again, I'm getting change. With the little peace sign within a heart, I keep getting, you're going to be getting some kind of communication from either a friendship, um, family, you know, again, relationship from the past, somebody who wants to clear the air, who wants to make peace with you. But I also feel like this is talking about self-love and you making peace with yourself, Taurus. Um, I do feel like music is a big deal to you. Um, could be very therapeutic. You could possibly be very musical, possibly pay, play an instrument. Um, guitar is here, you know, or maybe you're in a band, maybe you, um, you know, love bands, you know, whatever the case is, I do feel like music is a big part of your life here. And then the last charm here that's really calling to me is that tree. So again, there's that tree of being grounded, roots. This could possibly, like I said, have something to do with the family situation. Um, but I do feel like that's coming through just to kind of show strength. So, all right, Taurus, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, have a great rest of the week and take care.